I am so humbled and I humbly mahalo the organizers of this event and everyone present for coming together today in an effort to continue on our journey toward unification. Mahalo me ki aloha valeno for this opportunity. Before I start my talk story session, I just want to humbly say that I am only speaking on behalf of my family. I speak as a humble subject connected to this aina, rooted in Pono, with love for Nakiki, our people, and our queen. With the blessings of Keokua Ke Manaloa and the people I love the most, along with my pala pala, lots of love, I start with this Olelo no Eo. Ihookahi kau mama, hookahi ki aloha. All united in harmony and love. Our unification as a people, one collective strong voice, guided by our na'au and chosen alaka'i, is of utmost importance. Our commonalities connect us as one. The head cornerstone of this structure is our combined aloha for the aina and the keiki. It is this truth that will enable us to be pono. The combined unconditional love for Kopai Aina, as witnessed by recent events such as the arrest of An Haleakala, the restoration of Loko Ia in Kahana and Kaloko, the testimonies against Geothermo in Puna, the stand against DLNR's eradication plans of Ungulates, rallies against TPP and GMO on all islands, the Aloha Aina March, the Kanaka Maoli organized events in Amelika, and our Tiai standing firm on Manawa Kea is evidence of our everlasting Aloha. This collective positive energy centered on protecting, preserving, conserving, and restoring our aina will allow us to move forward together with our vaiwai grounded makahonua and our mind sharp like ihe set on the future we need for our aina and keiki. The groups that currently exist and form as we speak are powerful components to our united effort. Every Lahui-minded group, regardless of their mission statement, objective, purpose, intention, model, programs offered, strategies, and differences, have one very important similarity, love for Kopai Aina. And it is this love and our love for Nakiki that will allow us to pili and come together as a functioning kino that will transform the fallacy we live in to the reality we envision for the next 12 generations and beyond. What will be our combined vision? There is enough of us with like mindsets to start implementing solutions to the problems that exist. Developing pilina relationships and strengthening our lahui from within is critical. One step in establishing pilina includes who, who our lahui is. Once our body of people are identified, including Kanaka Maoli and Kekioka Aina, individuals and organizations alike with like mindsets and koko, we will be able to start nurturing relationships. As relationships develop and strengthen within our core, the Lahui-minded groups and organizations who have vested interests in similar niches, including, but not limited to, the protection, conservation, management, and restoration of natural resources, the preservation of sacred places and spaces, health and human services, government and policy, agriculture and infrastructure, as well as education, can come to the table and start talking story to nurture and solidify positive, Pono working relationships. Solidifying relationships on all levels will allow us to move as one functioning kino when encountering situations that involve the voice of the Lahui. Solidifying relationships will enable us to work cooperatively and be proactive in the implementation of preventative measures when needed. Solidifying relationships will allow us to kuka kuka in the light of Pono and start mapping the future for our aina, the keiki, and our people. The aina and the keiki is the wind in our sail, and we are the crew members atop the va'a. We are the voyagers, and as we navigate during this space and time, Hokulea, our zenith star, will anchor us home. The trust of our crew is, utmost, is of utmost importance when traveling on the ocean. We travel with pono minds and hearts, valuing each other's lives, 
respecting one another's sovereignty, whilst fostering and living Hemoku Hewa'a, Hewa'a Hemoku, Aloha Ke Kahi Ike Kahi. The Wa'a concept can be applied now as we continue this journey and Holomua. We are each other's lifelines. Our choices and how we move forward will affect generations. Focusing on our commonalities, the aloha for our land and our children will allow us to solidify the relationships we need for us to collectively and confidently step into Kawahiki Mayana, our future. The present system and entities within do not support us or our mo'opuna and or the next 12 generations. This brutal truth has led to a paradigm shift, a change in mindsets, and our people, as well as the people of the world, are standing firm against continued practices that perpetuate generational injustices. We refuse to remain silent, and the leo that has been preserved by our kupuna and queen is being voiced, because we will not put any thought or energy into the idea of a last aloha aina. Hegemony, as defined by Washington.edu, is the success of the dominant classes in presenting their definition of reality, their view of the world, in such a way that it is accepted by other classes as common sense. The general consensus is that it is the only sensible way of seeing the world. Any groups who present any alternative view are therefore marginalized. The practice of hegemony exists in our homeland, and the purposeful implementation of destructive foreign ideologies is causing purposeful division amongst our people. We can uproot these invasive paradigms by being proactive, counteracting with kapua aloha, continued infiltration on micro and macro levels, education, and unification. Our aina is currently suffering. Our people and keiki who are direct descendants of this aina are suffering. We all have suffered for far too long. The list of corporations with 200 year proposals for the purposes of the development of Namokupuni is exhausting. The practice of the mismanagement of our land, natural resources, and our most sacred places being stamped and approved by Kanaka Forest agencies, created and supported by the de facto state of Hawaii, needs to finally stop. The differences that appear to divide us fall short because the roots of commonalities between us run deep and ground us to Kopai Aina. The kahua that grounds us and unifies us is our aloha for our Aina and our Kiki. E ola oi, e ola makone. You live so that we can live. Mahalo nui loa.